this is uh, Christian Toth again with Coach Set Motorworks. As you can probably see by the photo in the beginning, what do they call that? Title slide? Sure. Uh, I'm actually going to try to build a hitch for my snowblower to pull my log splitter. The thought is it's pretty easy to get the log splitter down the hill. Uh, Kind of hard to see down the hill though to where i'm chopping on my logs all the way back there and there but the issue is really when i'm done i need to bring it up the hill this is kind of heavy so the thought is um maybe i can use my snowblower to pull it up because really why wouldn't i use my lawnmower that would be the logical choice well, the trouble is, in the winter, my lawnmower actually goes to my grandparents' house because this is really the only covered shed I've got. So, uh, this would be super easy to tow with. But, ideally, that goes to my grandparents' house for the winter, and then the snowblower goes in there. So, this is going to be around all winter, and that's usually when I'm going to do my log splitting because i got extra time on the weekends since I don't have to mow the lawn. So the thought is, if I can get some kind of hitch right around here, and I'm just going to have to lift this up a little bit. I mean, the no tires are pretty knobby. I, that is fairly heavy. Hoping it's going to work. I'm not positive. So, I don't know. I spent probably $20 on some steel and a couple bolts to go in here. So we're just going to give it a shot. Worst case scenario, I unbolt it, and it's trash, or I use it for something else. But, hey, it'd be pretty sweet if it worked. So let's get you guys in the stand and start looking through this. Actually, before we put you in the stand, let's just kind of go over my plan. So as you can see, I've taken off the back panel of my snowblower here. Um, my thought is I can put a piece of angle iron here, slip it in between the pole here and the frame. Put a piece of angle iron in here and have a mating service to weld to and I can do a, basically a big U and then down again. And because of, this is my drive controller, I will put the ball somewhere around here. I kind of have to figure out my height because um, there is this, I don't know, stand thing underneath of it. So probably need to have the barbie here plus you know you got the height of the ball so should be actually pretty good i'm more or less going to go probably from here over and hopefully that holds probably try to brace it up but let's get to some measuring and cutting start the time lapse now
All right, well, good morning. So, got a little dark on us yesterday, and um, actually on Friday, and yesterday I was doing some off-roading uh, on the new LR4 with the bigger tires and a little bit of a lift, and it was awesome. Um, actually, I'll show you a quick clip right here. You better throttle up. You better spin it. Go! Smells good. We're stay on it. it. Not enough.
All righty, so let's take a look what we got here. All right, so I did some welds here. Yeah, they're not the greatest, but I'm gonna try to do some better ones on the inside when I uh, take it off here. But kind of cool, I already mocked up here. Not sure if it's level, but you know what? It's gonna ride. It'll be pretty good. Did have to do a little notch out here for, uh, I think this is my speed control. Yeah, so. And uh, everything, that's just barely missing. This is gonna maybe rub a little bit, actually. There we go. Yes, that misses, so that's good. So yeah, just do some final welding on it and um, and put it all back together. Paint it probably, yeah, should probably paint it. Um, all right, so let's do that. I'll bring you back when it looks all pretty and we'll give it a test drive. All right, well, we got the bracket on. Let's take a look. I'm getting ready to, I'm ready to, try this sucker out so obviously it's painted I got everything welded up everything's bolted back up also greased this axle both sides while I had the wheels off just good practice kind of while I was in there kind of deal but I got it all uh, bolted in over here and there and obviously I did a quick shot of paint that got scratched when I put it on but <laughs> what are you gonna do uh, it's just gonna prolong it you know doesn't like it's not like it sits outside in the elements it sits in the shed so it should stay pretty weather tight but let's get you in the stand and give it a shot does work it helps if you uh, put some gas in there they do run out eventually a um, little out of breath <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's a huge success um, obviously there is a lot of weight on this lug splitter tongue 
so that I, it wants to push it down a lot. And um, which I obviously I need to bring it, I need to have it at this angle a little bit, you know, so I don't dig the front sliders and in, into the grass. So really, all my effort is is just holding up on this, you know, holding it up from one to fall like that. Um, I'd like to say it's probably it is definitely easier than pulling up that hill on my own. That's 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 tiring. So. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but hopefully you're able to see. This is the hill I was talking about. And it definitely is easier. It definitely works. Um, yeah. So uh, I think it'll do the trick for me. If this uh, was helpful to you guys, let me know if you think there's a better idea, something else that I could have done, besides building another shed, just to keep the tractor. Uh, I'd like to hear that too. Um, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like down at the bottom and uh, subscribe if this was helpful or if you want to see other cool projects. Again, this is Christian Toth with Coach Set Motorworks. We'll see you guys later. Bye.